sure that I could put bread on the table and provide for my family and stay determined and it all in the same sense is a very strong goal of mine. It also uh, keeps me in the mind frame of showing people like you can get anything done. Like, don't let this stop you. We gonna figure out what the next steps is to get this place going. You know. Um. Well, I say all that to say, as I was. Getting my shit together, I also had a lot of retro sneakers. I had a lot of number sevens. I had the Jordan uh, sixes. I had the threes. I had the fours. You know, um, part of my journey into learning myself and the type of, you know, um, I don't want to use the word hustle, but entrepreneurial skills that I had. I also had access to getting shoes, and I used to bring shoes back to the city. And if y'all know about the Florida Avenue flea market, I would post up over there, sell shoes and all that too, on top of doing a bunch of other things. So these shoes have a lot of holding memories to these times. And uh, I didn't put these in my storage. So when I was moving from Suitland back into the city, I had my stuff in storage. Um, Needless to say, a lot of things fell through for me, which you know, you can call that karma or you can call that just life lessons in general. And I ended up losing a lot of my retros. A lot of my retros. And uh, these are the ones that are still here with me. These are the ones that can still tell that story. And these are the ones that can still tell you where I've been through and what I've been through. You know, um, most people like to keep their retros in the box and keep them super clean and this, that, and the third, which I was doing that for a while too, but when it's time to get busy outside, <laughs> them things hitting feet to pavement. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, and that's what happened with these. They, they was my last of my Mohegans. They held me down. And we was running around the town. Uptown, that is. Yeah. Yes, indeed. But Jordan number fives. Ooh, ooh, shaking a little too hard. Jordan number fives. Elephant print. Y'all got to look these jumps up. I'm telling you, the value of these probably... Super crazy, super crazy, like, which I ain't gonna look it up because I'm gonna be upset. I ain't gonna hold y'all. If I look it up right now, and I'll be like, you know what, I should've kept these in a box, or da, da, da. I don't even wanna do that to myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna do it, but y'all can look it up. Y'all figure it out. If y'all wanna leave a comment in the video below, if you wanna buy that new album called Famous Nobody by Riz the Great, which is coming out at the end of this month. You might be able to leave a comment on there, but just don't tell me to my face about it. I ain't going there. I'm gonna just be like, oh, who was that person now? <laughs> what is he? What's he what, what do you mean? It's twelve thousand dollars now? No, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. What it means to bring money home, coming out the game, is putting food on the table, um, providing for my family. You know, uh, I have a strenuous amount of people that depend on me and my family, um, including my son, but uh, also my grandmother, my sisters, my uncles, like people depend on me. They put they put they put that on me and I and I wear it well. You know what I mean? Like I get down, I get what I gotta get done and I, I make sure that everybody can eat, everybody fed and to my best abilities, you know. There's a lot of things that come with that, but at the same token making sure that I could put bread on the table and provide for my family and stay determined. And it all in the same sense is a very strong goal of mine. It also uh, keeps me in the mind frame of showing people like you can get anything done. Like, don't let this stop you. We gonna figure out what the next steps is to get this place going. You know what I'm saying? No matter how many creases for the reasons. Mm-hmm. That's indeed, I got that out of Dr. Seuss. I think we need a little more on that thing right there. Try to bring this part back up, y'all. I look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Toes curled up, like you know when you got that good little situation going. <laughs> but we gonna, we gonna try to bring this thing back. But this thing ain't had a scrub down in a while, man. This is like, it's, it came out the billionaire bag, billionaire boy bag for a reason. 
Um, this, what made these the dream pair of shoes for me is, again, I was very much into my sneakers. I was a sneakerhead, but the number five retro pair of Jordans was always my favorite Jordans. And one of, one of the reasons is this little button right here. This little button on the laces just gave the shoe another flair that you just can't, you can't get it. You couldn't get it anywhere on. So there was all a couple other shoes that had these. Six, seven, so I think it was sevens. There's a couple other shoes that had these, but the fives, it was just like, that was my favorite pair of Jordans. Like, and all the waves they came out with, like the Fresh, pair, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, like, I wanted all of them jumps. I wanted every number five Jordan that came out. Now, realistically, I wasn't I wasn't about to buy every last number five Jordan. So I only had a black and red infrared jumps, and then I had these. Now the infrared jumps is gone. This is a kind of a crazy wave to rock with because it got like a lot of baby blue topaz undertones and. Um, I wasn't a baby blue and wearing type of person. But I love these shoes. Like, and it didn't matter if sometimes if it matched or not, them dogs was on my feet. And these was my these was my baby ooh girl look at you. I did that. I did that. Get on the back side one more time. Did these shoes take me where I needed to go? These shoes took me to point A and B and maybe C. But these shoes didn't take me to where I wanted to be. 